Hello, this is Father Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and where I grew up, we used to go out trick-or-treating this day, the eve of Halloween. We didn't really demand a treat in place of tricking people. It was all pretty innocent. Unfortunately, for many people now, Halloween has taken on a much more sinister aspect. It's not just about dressing up and looking for candy. It's not just about scary things, spiders and cobwebs, skeletons and tombstones, witches on brooms and goblins. In some places, Halloween is now referred to as Devil's Night and houses are set on fire. Some years ago in Saginaw, Michigan, 16 houses were burned. This isn't fun in games. Many people now celebrate Halloween as a feast in honor of the devil and they celebrate with destruction and death. Halloween is a Christian feast. It comes from All Hallows' Eve, the Eve of All Hallowed or Holy People, what we now call All Saints' Day. Our faith teaches us that the devil is real. He has power and he is our enemy. He takes good and holy things and twists them to entice people to the dark side. But he's not all powerful, certainly not the equal of God. Jesus is Lord, and if we stay close to Jesus, we'll be safe. Different saints have compared Satan to a chained dog. He can't hurt you as long as you don't get too close to him. So my suggestion for you this Halloween is to counteract all the dark things of this day with the light of Christ. Stay strong in prayer and ask St. Michael and his angelic army to help you. St. Michael and all holy angels of God, protect us in our battle against evil. Amen.